Good morning, and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yuri Fulani, and uh, my guest this morning is um, reaching us from uh, Abuja Studio. Um, that's uh, Honorable Ibrahim Abdullahi Manga. He is the um, Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the PDP. Uh, so, um, well, Alaji Manga, good morning to you. Good morning, Uncle Yori. I can't see your face like I used to. Uh, how have you been? It's been a while. <laughs> Indeed. Great, great, great to have you, sir. And uh, we, we were working on what you've just said. We're, well, it's all right. good news. Good news for the uh, PDP because um, there's a sense in which some will say it has come back from the brink with the announcement that um, the crisis, as was perceived, perhaps by non-members of the party, has been resolved. And our factions are now united. Now, that's a really uh, big one. Uh, give me your commentary on that. Factions reunited. The thing that was as bad as for them to go out into the press and say all that has been said, and now, in the blink of an eye, everything is good. How do you explain that? Let me... First, thank you again for meeting and uh, giving us this opportunity to, you know, uh, express our position with regards to this issue. To start with, there was no faction uh, in okay. the few days that we were dramatizing that we, there was a faction. It's a family issue, and the arguments I've always maintained uh, anywhere I speak for this party is that this party has sufficient internal mechanism of resolving disputes and that was from inception the founding fathers you know conceived of the idea to have sufficient shock absorbers to ensure that uh, um, anytime such issues spring up disagreement and dispute arising from uh, dissatisfaction probably through the policy direction of the party there would always be mechanisms for intervening to ensure that this sort of things are you know nipped in the board so we have journeyed in this last 25 years, like I've always argued, uh, through thick and thin. And we have ruled this country for 16 years uh, in the period under review. Now, that was the period Nigeria you know, was um, beginning to appreciate the significance of democracy because it was on a single digit inflation, you will recall, and uh, many other good things that the country was able to achieve at that time. There was debt cancellation. There was this. Uh, effective democratic ambience. There was this uh, civic, you know, uh, atmosphere for the country. There was everything going on. We were getting it right uh, up until we lost power in 20, you know, 16. I mean, 15. Now, but that aside, what happened was just a, a, a little disagreement within the rank and file of the party. Uh, allegations were leveled against some of our important members. The uh, legal advisor of the party. Ajibade Kamaluddin SAN and Honorable Debo Olobon, uh, I beg your pardon, Honorable Debo uh, Olobonagwa, my, my colleague and superior brother. These are senior lawyers, none of them is less than three decades at the bar. And of course, you expect some of the decisions that they would take, especially if these you know, decisions are to do with uh, policy direction of the party should be guided by law and by the rules of operation. And of course, what happened to them in the last NWC was a suspension arising from allegations that we received, leveled against them uh, to do with the running of the party. Those were disturbing allegations, but we felt in-house there was a need to subject them to a committee for interfacing, more or less like the family thing. For them to go and meet one of their one of our brothers, you know, the former deputy governor of Oyo State, Ambassador Taufik Arapaja, who is the chairman of that committee, is a four-man committee, you know, expected to look into this problem. Of course, these two gentlemen, you would believe, not speaking sentimentally, are also from the more or less southwest because they are Yorubas. And if you look at the committee, it's peopled by fellow Yorubas like them. So what we expected, but not just along that ethnic line is that because we are running the office through camaraderie and friendship, they should just go and meet these people within just 14 days. Clear those allegations leveled against you. So that was the definition of the step aside that uh, the secretary of, um, rather the director of uh, publicity announced to say that this gentleman should go and do this. 
and then within 14 days we would have addressed this problem and they will come back and assume their role or, or take it further from then. But that, the, the surprising thing was for uh, a suspension to be announced uh, from uh, Canada, you know, orchestrated by uh, Debo Ologunagba, my, my superior colleague. You know, you begin to wonder what prompted that kind of a thing because you can't just suspend a national chairman through social media platform or on the pages of newspaper. And that was what he did. And not only that, not only has that brought embarrassment to the party, but it's um, repugnant to say the least. It was quite, you know, absurd. It wasn't something you would expect from somebody of that uh, level of intellect and somebody who has uh, appreciated the operational rules and guidelines of our party. So it was disturbing, you know. And then for a person who is said to be appointed, you, do you appoint national chairman also? It's not uh, an office you occupy through appointment. It's a, an office that is returned through, you know, the con uh, convention, uh, you know, or uh, in the case of uh, uh, succession like uh, Ambassador Omar Ilad Amagon did with the vacation of the then national chairman Iyoche Ayu, who was returned through a popular convention, you know, and uh, uh, of course the two deputies also returned at the same time and visited this kind of development. But the law is clear, section 47.6 of our uh, uh, constitution provides processes of succession and it gives clearly. This is the same section that uh, some people are going to town interpreting wrongly, uh, but if that is a general provision of the Constitution, Section 35 is explicit on how the succession is to be done, and there's no time limit. That's what Damagun has done. He occupied that position in acting capacity, and up till this minute I speak with you, he's seated in his office, that of the Deputy National Chairman North. That is the office he's running the party from, and he has not even moved to the main office of the national chairman at the, at the national secretariat in appreciation of his role as acting. So all of these things were neither here nor there. It was not expected of uh, my colleagues to have gone the way they did and start causing disharmony and disaffection and then giving exactly. the members of the public impression that we had crisis when truly there was no crisis. It was just a normal routine check and investigation to avert, you know, um, such tendencies. Okay. Well, indeed, um, as um, uh, the chairman of the Governor's Forum of the PDP uh, was saying, that, um, you know, this is a matter um, that has now been resolved within the party. And you just spoke there about this being possible because of the camaraderie and uh, friendship, you know, that exists within the parties. But um, I guess what I wanted to ask is that... Um, Okay, let me just, I, I think I have a caller on the line, I can't hear well. Uh, uh, good morning, Mr. George. Let me just bring in our first caller. Good morning, Mr. George. If you can hear us. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Please go ahead. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello, we can hear you. Please go can ahead Can you hear me? Now. Yes, clearly, we can hear you. Go ahead. Are you hearing me? I'm sorry, I can't uh, hear well, you. Well, if you can see us, I'm just giving you the thumbs up that we can hear you. Hello? We can hear you. If you happen to be watching, I'm giving you the thumbs up that we can hear you. Please go ahead. Okay. Um, there seems to be a technical problem there. Um, even if you couldn't hear us, I was trying to say visually that you're good. You're good, but apparently you didn't understand. Uh, that will sort itself out, I'm sure, uh, so, uh, sorry about that. Uh, we're still with um, Elijah Ibrahim Abdullahi Manga. And I was saying that um, you had spoken about camaraderie and uh, friendship uh, that has allowed you to pull back, as it were, uh, from the brink. So I guess the question I was going to ask is that uh, how, well, you know, we understand. Uh, you, you, it has been said, you're, you know, it, it's been said that um, the PDP is the most experienced parties. Simp uh, experienced party simply on account of uh, its longevity. And so politicians will know how to handle this. But I wanted to ask you, um, what, what do you think will be the attitude of, do you think everybody's going to be on board for this? I guess that's the question to ask. Is everybody going to be on board for this? Uh, because people of different persuasions, now we're hearing that all the camps and sides, so to speak, 
have been collapsed and it's all uh, good again. Uh, those that had felt offense, uh, do you think that this has been sorted out now by the announcement of um, the uh, Governor, Governor's Forum Chairman? Well, the running of a political party is not uh, at the behest of the Governor's Forum. Uh, there's a constituted NWC, and that's the National Working Committee with all the constitutional power to run the party. Therefore, uh, the governor's role would just be advisory, if anything. But we hold our governors uh, with the highest respect. Uh, their advice is taken sacrosanct. We always look at the significance because these are the custodians of our fortune, and there are 13 of them as the last time I checked. So when they come to intervening matters of this nature, we always take it hook, line, and sinker. But we would also take this admonition you know, to the NWC, which comes up tomorrow, to be able to say this is the position of the governor because they are the critical stakeholders here and they are appreciating it in this manner. And then we all go into voting and then that becomes um, the position. I foresee a possibility where the matter would be put to rest but all of these things are not healthy development uh, because we are going to set a terrible precedence uh, if at all times this sort of things come up and you find the governors you know uh, encouraging it by way of saying they just they should just leave it but it's okay we are looking at the bigger picture which is salvaging nigeria from despair and despondency which seem to have been the order you know for some time in the land over nine years now so if the okay. party is the party that Nigerians look up to, and if there is the party that Nigerians see as the alternative and the hope, so all other considerations, including this sort of um, uncomfortable development and advice by the governors, would be taken just to salvage Nigeria. So it's a possibility okay. we'll get it addressed for, for, uh, uh, squarely. Oh, oh, all right, then. Let me bring on um, Elder David. Uh, good morning to you, Elder. Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Please go ahead. Good morning, Yorin. Thank you very much, sir. God will bless you. Uh, what the picture you are showing, is it the present picture because Ambassador Damago is in charge according to the court? And uh, he is the one who is to preside. Is that what is happening now, or they are just trying to deceive Nigeria? What I know is that I am not playing politics. AP, PDP, PDP will never unite. Don't deceive yourself. As far as Article is there, there is a problem because Article started problem with APC, with PDP. In those days, he was, he was with a, a boss of job. When he bring him to be a vice president to him, when he won the election in Adamawa, he never ruled any place. And Obasa Joe bring he created problems there. And at the end of the day, he wanted to truncate Obasa Joe a second time. And he left, he joined, he, he left us in PDP. I was in PDP, I joined PDP October 31st, 1998. I can tell you that the opposition advised up to. He, he left us, I was going and joined AD, he formed AC. Then, then, then Tinibu helped him in order to cover his dress. He contested with the other he was defeated. He left a front PDM. PDM was there with me. And after that again, he went back to PDP. Then he was again, he went to AP, uh, APC. He thought he was going to get the ticket. He left there. And he went back to PDP. As far as he's there, PDP is finished. Let me check, they will never unite. All that one you are saying is just a game stick. Any other election today, APC will always take it. And we thank the APC government have come in since 2015. If they are not coming, I mean, we have taken over. I'm a member of PDP before I joined APC in 2014. And I said, the man they call the Jonathan will never come back because APC is the one come to rescue us. At the end of the day, let me tell you, we pray by the grace of God. The man has said, why only come to solve a problem? The problem they have taken since 1999. I beg, I want to ask this question. Where is Sinibu University? Where is Sinibu Farm? Where is Sinibu, where, where is Buhari and others? All those that one big GDP have acquired for a long time. All those pictures you are saying are old pictures. Then the man they called Amago will remain there 2025. We can't believe that now. 
because the man they call uh, what I think who never believe that any other Nigerian can be president. If the people from South have no right, it's not the sole turn, it's the turn of the South. So what will happen now is that when it comes to 2027, all these people will fizzle out. The Tenable will still remain there till 2031. God will bless all and bless Nigeria. Let all be blessed. Uh, 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 well, well, okay. Uh, thank you very much, Elder David. Um, uh, that was a bit of a challenge. Um, the, the sound wasn't um, all that it could be, but we, we barely uh, heard you. We did indeed hear you. And you brought in the name of um, uh, the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar there. And in that connection, I wanted to note that um, the PDP uh, Governors Forum Chairman had spoken when he broke this news, uh, was urging party members um, not to allow uh, personal interests to divide the party. And that's a theme that we uh, had spoken on uh, earlier when I was a, wondering if everybody was going to be on board with this. You had provided that answer. But now, I guess um, that, that caller mentioned the name of, um, you know, a, a major figure, a key figure. In fact, it is felt that if he were to, uh, you know, become, uh, uh, identify very strictly with party supremacy, there are those who are saying that we won't have a problem anymore. Um, so at the very, very highest echelons of uh, PDP leadership, uh, are, are you saying, sir, that everybody is on board? Well, what is uh, important for us, first of all, is to appreciate the uh, mood of the nation. Of course, uh, as okay. the major opposition party, our obligation now is to provide alternative um, uh, vehicle for Nigerians. And that is why cohesion and unity of the party is paramount and more important to us than individual interests of its members. And okay. that was exactly what the governor, the governor of the Governor's Forum was amplifying. And so in the days ahead, uh, we are going to look at more the cohesion of the party and its unity as opposed to promoting individual interests. Whatever happens, we still have sufficient time to be able to dot the I's and cross the T's. You know, okay. by 2026, uh, the beginning of it, or probably at the end of 2025, which is still far away, you know, then individual uh, interests might be accommodated when they start jostling you know, for respective offices. But in the meantime, we are not concerned about who uh, uh, throws his heart in the ring as much as we are with the, mm -hmm. uh, with the issue of cohesion and unity. So certainly right. as a party, yes, we know that in the level, the present time that we are, because of the seeming feud here and there, and the perceived uh, disharmony in the house because I tell you we are united it's just that in-house bickering and that's expected even in family cycles you Indeed. know uh, those are healthy okay. these are the essentials of a democratic uh, uh, journey okay. so we let, are let not me, averse to all of these things sir. Yeah. Let, let, let me bring in um, Luke Luke has called in from uh, what I called. good morning Luke Luke in Port Accord. good morning Luke, can you hear us? Yeah, uh, good morning. Good morning, sir. Go ahead, please. Yeah, thank you. My name is Luke, calling from Portacot. Actually, I have understood that. Uh, I have understood that. Uh, hello, am I, am I on? Yes, please continue. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, we can hear you, sir. Please continue. Hello, is it correct? Hello. Yes, this is Yori Polarin. Please continue. Okay, we can hear you. Let me just go on. I think I cannot hear, I cannot hear but, but let me go on. Uh, what I am saying here is that I have understood already that uh, PDP have left Fubara alone. That's what we in Riverside have seen. And I don't know what is still keeping him there. We in Riverside have told him that without number that he didn't born with PDP. Ah, you can see that just a party that they call unknown has did what a APC has not done, that so-called APC have not done. So we in Rwanda are still the, have told this man time with our number. You did not born with this party, you can let this party go. And the area, the better for him, the area for him is better for him, that I pray he should wake up. To me, I have seen him as a problem. I mean, no, 
Look, PDP from the national to the state has the submission. I, I heard the deputy national publicity said that to yesterday. Uh, Kubara is a problem. I agree with him. My problem with he, with Fubara is that Fubara is not born with PDP. PDP cannot say to Fubara. The national publicity, the publicity secretary cannot say to Fubara. He has already spelled this. I don't know when, I don't know whether he did a problem. The man of the the, 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 the publicity have already said to him that look, you are a problem. Let him go to ACN, let him go to other parties. He can still win election if the people is behind him. And I am seeing it in the just in, in just that last local government election. They were they, he was saying that just the party that where was this. I am asking him. If he was the one, will he have taken what to buy? To be a governor, and this is almost two years, and then you are still crying every other day like a baby. Take charge of the state if you can. If you are having the capacity to assert your authority, do so. But for crying out loud, it's been over two years. All we hear is that uh, Wiki has done this, Wiki has done that, Wiki has done that. As much as one is not uh, inclined to speak on this subject, because truly it's a very... Uh, controversial one, neither here nor there, on account of the fact that both of them are important members of the party as we speak. If you heard him correctly, you heard him saying that he's admonishing Fubara to go. Uh, Fubara would have known this better and he would have gone before this advice of his. But the beauty of it is that uh, the democratic space that is available in the PDP and the capacity of the party to provide you know, the desired leadership that this country is looking for. It's probably the attraction there that is still holding Fubara. But nobody wants Fubara to leave, to be honest with you, because the feud between him and his estranged godfather or predecessor cannot be robbed on the party, and then you expect us every other day to be discussing about that crisis in rivers, as opposed to looking at uh, the larger picture in the polity. There are about 36 states and an FCT. All of these uh, divisions are expected to be provided leadership by the PDP or a platform for opposition. So if we now deploy our entire machinery in the crisis in rivers, which in any case we have not received inspiration from the governor to support, then I don't know what exactly is uh, anybody expecting us to do. We've given him mm. enough you know, uh, ground for him to come all out like his colleagues. Who says that the predecessors of other state governors in their respective states are not also okay. going through uh, this kind of things. But the governors have been able to come all out and take charge. If they are truly popular, if they are truly the ones with the authority in the state, which is the case.